I love baseball and will be a fan of baseball my entire life, but here's the reasons why I'm quitting as a fan of Major League Baseball. Hey guys, it's Josh, the 90 Know-It-All, coming to you today to kind of talk about a subject that's been on my mind for a while. I've talked about it in other videos, little bits and pieces, but haven't really dug into it, even done some articles kind of discussing some of the different things I've had issues with when it comes to Major League Baseball. But before we do that, if you take a moment, go down and click the like button. It helps so the video gets shared more, people, more people see it, especially baseball fans. I'll leave a comment down below with your thoughts on Major League Baseball, good or bad. And the guys subscribe to the channel. That way it lets you know whenever new content comes out, you get a message. That way you know you can click on the video, watch what's going on. We try and update you on Major League Baseball stuff, college stuff. We have a lot of fun interviews that we'll do throughout the year. Just a lot of fun baseball content. So please take a moment to subscribe. But guys, with that, let's jump into this. I'm quitting as a Major League Baseball fan. I know I've kind of been on the fence of really being done with Major League Baseball from a fan's perspective. And really just recently, everything just keeps piling on. Everything just keeps adding up to the point now where I, I just can't do it anymore. Now, I'm still going to cover Major League Baseball because this site is based on covering baseball at any level. It doesn't matter you know, if it's Little League or Major Leagues. We cover it. We, we promote it. We want the game to grow. But for me, my love for baseball has really kind of focused on the, the college level, the high school level, and for a lot of reasons. And I have a video coming out uh, in a couple of days. It's going to talk about my reasons why I think college baseball is the best level of baseball there is, hands down. Um, but today we're going to focus on just the Major League Baseball aspect of it and why I'm turned off from the game of Major League Baseball. I still love baseball, still my passion, but Major League Baseball has really kind of been a downer for me. So right off the bat, you, if you follow anything about Major League Baseball, you know that there's been a drop in attendance the last couple of years. And one of the main reasons for this is ticket prices. Ticket prices have just gone through the roof. A lot of teams don't know how to price their tickets effectively. Now, there are some teams like the Dodgers. They pretty much sell out or have pretty large crowds every game. And so their ticket prices, even though are high, they still make sense because there's enough demand for that. Uh, Boston, same thing. New York, you know, for the Yankees. There's a high demand, so the higher ticket prices make sense. But I live in the Northwest. I live near the Seattle Mariners, a team that hasn't made the playoffs since 2001, and their ticket prices are outrageous. They're freaking outrageous. So much so that I can't even afford really to take my family of four to a game. I mean, I, I live about two and a half hours away, so for me to go up there, one, I gotta do gas. Gotta do gas. It's gonna take me two and a half hours to get up there, two and a half hours to get back, gotta pay for the gas to, to do all that. So that's, that's one thing. Then you add in the food. Because of the time it takes me, I gotta have food ready. Whether we bring sandwiches with us or buy food up there, you know, it costs money. But then you get to the ticket prices and the parking, and that's what kills me. That's what kills me. For my family, family of four, just even getting regular cheap seats, we're talking $125 to $150 with seats and parking. And that's if I'm lucky. A lot of people up in Seattle will buy the, the bleacher seats out and they'll go try and sit somewhere else. But even those are $15, $20 a ticket per game. Plus you have to add in the fees because uh, it's like $5 in fees per ticket. So a $20 ticket becomes $25. Four people in my family, it's $100. Parking is $30, $35, $50 dollars at times. That's $150 just for my family to go watch a game and... Let's be honest, I can go watch my summer wood bat league team here in, in Longview, Washington. For my whole family, it's like $5 a ticket. Parking is free, so we're talking 20 bucks. 20 bucks versus $150 in which I have to drive up there, have to buy food up there, and most of the time when I drive that far, the games are late, so I gotta do a motel room as well. So that adds up. It adds up big time. Now. I know a lot of people say, you know, not everybody lives that far away. A lot of people live in the city, but still, think about it. A game, 
hundred fifty dollars. That's the cheap seats, the cheap twenty dollars tickets with the five dollar fees, and all that added on. It it adds up too fast. And for me, the ticket prices are outrageous. Now, once again, I don't live in L.A. For the Dodgers, that makes sense. For the the Red Sox, makes sense. For the Yankees, it makes sense. There's a large demand for those tickets. People still pay for them. So they have the, they have the right to do that. The Mariners are not selling out their, their stadium. They're not even selling out half their stadium. They're not even selling out 25% of their stadium. That place is empty. You know, the few games I got to see on TV, there's no one there. There's no one on the first baseline, no one on the third baseline, no one in the outfield, but yet their prices are still so high that it prices out the fan, like me, who has a family. And I, I don't want to pay that much money to take my, my daughters and my wife, who are not big baseball fans. That's a lot of money. Honestly, for the amount of money it costs me to go to one game, I can do a weekend trip with my family. We can go camping somewhere and watch some college games or summer league games, minor league games for cheaper. So it just doesn't make sense for me to do that. Uh, you know, the next part that goes right into it is, Major League Baseball has a lack of family focus at their games. Now, the Mariners have a little playground area in center field, and, and that's nice, but you'll, there's so many kids that you, your kids will only be in there for a short time. And really, just overall, the focus on the family part of it is limited. There's not a whole lot there. They really are kind of the mindset of, you're here to watch baseball. Who cares about everything else? And once again... I, I have a family, two daughters. I have a three-year-old and a seven-and-a-half-year-old. They don't want to sit for a nine-inning game. They want to do other things. That's why I love going to minor league games. The Salem-Kaiser Volcanoes have a very cool kids play area. I mean, they've really done a good job with that. And you guys, if you know me, you know I I've tend to be kind of negative towards the Volcanoes uh, for a number of years because of their lack of uh, activities and things for the family. But they have... They have stepped it up. Eugene Emerald, same thing. They got a huge play area out there. So, I mean, minor league teams get it. You know, summer wood bat teams, leagues get it. But Major League Baseball, they don't get it. And so that, that lack of family focus really is a downer for me. Uh, another thing, you know, recently the cheating scandal. That, as a fan, drives me nuts. You know, I, I want to go watch a game that is as clean as possible. And, you know... PEDs and all that stuff aside, but the cheating scandal is what really has gotten me kind of worked up uh, enough to say, you know what, if I wasn't done before, I'm done now uh, with Major League Baseball. And like I said, it just, it maybe was the final straw for me. And I haven't been to a Major League Baseball game in two years, and this year will be the third without a doubt. Uh, I have no intentions of going to a Major League Baseball game this year unless something happens where I get like free tickets, free parking, um, but I don't get that. Uh, I don't get free tickets to Major League Baseball. I do get in free to most minor league games and most summer woodbat league games because I cover the team. So uh, I just don't see me going to a Major League Baseball game this year. Probably not next year. Maybe at some point in the future, I, I want to see Mike Trout play. Um, I would pay to go watch him play. But other than that, I don't have much of a reason to go watch baseball. So, you know, along with this team's you know, fake punishments... I mean, I, I hate it when a starting pitcher gets suspended for four games. Oh, gee, they, they make a start, get suspended for four games, and then make their next start. And that's what happens a lot. And that, once again, as a fan, I, I'm angry about that. That's not a punishment. That's a, hey, here's your four days off. You can't play during those four days off. Oh, okay, what, whatever. It just, I don't know. Major League Baseball is losing fans, and I blame the very top. I blame the owners. I blame the commissioner. They are so focused on making sure they can squeeze every dollar they can that they're failing to realize that if they get the fan base excited and motivated and into the stadium, buying food, buying merchandise, buying tickets, all this stuff, they're going to make even more money. But they're trying to squeeze every penny out that they can, and they're not realizing that in the long run, they're going to lose money. This is going to hurt the game, hurt Major League Baseball. And that's the path they're choosing to take, and I'm disappointed in that. Another reason why I'm, I'm tired of Major League Baseball is the, the fans. The fans have been so divisive and so negative for the last couple of years that it just, it's driving me nuts. And it, and it hurts me as a fan because 
you know, yeah, there's rivalries. And I love rivalries. Rivalries are fun. They can be just the most enjoyable part of baseball. But not when it comes to the hate and the just the disgusting comments that are coming out uh, on Twitter. And I, I know, Twitter right off the bat, that's a disgusting, horrible place a lot of the time. It's got a lot of great things. I love Twitter because I get some great information, great news, great updates. But it's also, it's also a horrible place, uh, especially all the, the trolls out there. So that divisive fan base has been... You know, one that I, I hate. And that's why I, I like college baseball. I like minor league baseball. There's rivalries. But when it's all said and done, even the fans relax and, you know, goof off and, and enjoy each other's company because we're at baseball games. Now, another thing that's kind of really turned me off lately uh, is just the, the autograph restrictions. In fact, there was just an article on Forbes, I think, that came out talking about how at the... New York Mets Fan Fest event, they charged people $25 for an autograph, but the only thing they could get signed was a team poster. That's it. No cards, no balls, no jerseys, no helmets, nothing. You had to get this team poster signed for $25, and that was it. And that's crap. As someone who collects autographs, I have cards that I, I want to get autographed because they look cool and would be awesome with an autograph on it, but I don't want to get a team poster. I have a couple, you know, the Mariners, when they do their caravans, you get you can get cards autographed, but they also have these little placard type things that they give you for free, which is cool. If you don't have something, they have those there and they're awesome, but I can't display those. They're too big for display things. And so these get stacked in the corner. I have posters that uh, were things like the, what the Mets were doing where you could get them signed by the team. They're either thrown away or they're rolled up somewhere and I can't put them out. So... Those type of things, those type of restrictions hurt the fan base. I mean, I just saw a, a video the other day. I think it was at the uh, hockey all-star game. They were having autographs, and the kid wanted a jersey of the player who was signing. And the guy said, no, I can't sign it because I have a deal with Upper Deck that I can't sign jerseys uh, for people. And the kid just tossed his jersey and walked off. He was tired of it. And that's losing a fan. That's losing a fan. And autographs... Autographs seem childish, but I'll tell you, I, I, I collect autographs, not as much as I used to, but I still collect them because it's kind of like a, a, a memory. It's a memory right there in front of me. I, I remember the time that I got Clayton Kershaw's autograph. I remember when Andre Ethier and Matt Kemp signed a ball for me together. I remember when I met Felix Hernandez and got his autograph. I remember when Ken Griffey Jr. stopped and talked to me for a half an hour with his dad and signed autographs for me. I have a whole video about that one. So that type of thing, autographs are memory makers. They're fan builders. To, and to put restrictions on on fans like that is, is horrible. I mean, the Astros just had their fan fest, and it was $75 to get an autograph, but you could only get one a baseball that had the Astros logo on it that they gave you. So you paid 75 bucks. To get an autograph on a ball they give you with the Astros logo on it. And what if you don't want a ball? What if you want a card? What if you want a baseball card signed? You can't do it. And that, those restrictions hurt. They hurt the game. And believe it or not, they're going to hurt this long term. And Major League Baseball is going to suffer. The NBA, NHL, they're all going to suffer if they do stuff like this. All of them will. And I kind of hope they do. I kind of hope the game does suffer so that we have to have a kind of a revolution of the game so it's designed more for fans. You know, another thing is just, you know, the autograph thing is a, is a disconnect with fan base, and that's one of the big things I've seen is that teams are really disconnected with their fan base. They just don't understand what's going on and, and don't understand what their fans want. The Mariners are the perfect example for this. This would have been the perfect year for the Mariners to bring in all their young guys to a fan fest event, promote them out and, and pump it out and get the fans excited. You know, the Mariners had fan fest events for like 14, 15 years in a row. And then two years ago decided to cancel their fan fest event because they were trying to, they had an event there on the field that ruined the field. And instead of having the event somewhere else or just saying, hey, you can't go on the field for the fan fest event, they just canceled it. And it, the fans were frustrated. Then last year they changed it 
uh, to March and made it on a weekday. And it was just, it was a weird situation and fans didn't like it, didn't respond to it, didn't go to it. Um, you know, the fans that did, there wasn't very many of them. And so this year, the Mariners, once again, they just canceled FanFest altogether. When their fans are, are begging and pleading to get excited for the team, to get to know these prospects, these young guys who are the future of the team, and the Mariners aren't in the same understanding with the fans and are disconnected. And so Mariner fans, we can't get excited about these players. We just can't because... We have no connection. Getting an autograph, shaking a hand, saying hi, getting a photo, that's a connection that builds a fan base, and the Mariners aren't doing that, and a lot of teams aren't doing that. Another big thing I have is, I for the last two years, I got MLB TV. I, it was awesome. I could watch games all across uh, the nation. Every game I wanted to watch, I could watch, except for the Mariners. The team that I want to watch, the team that... I'm within two and a half hours of, I couldn't watch any of their games. None of their games. Not a single one. Because of their blackout rules. And their blackout rules are stupid. I mean, there are people who live eight, ten hours away and could not watch a Mariner game because they were technically in the Mariner's region. And that that's stupid. That's stupid that fans who are more than a day's drive away can't watch a game because they're technically in that team's region. And there are people, you know, I live in the Northwest, so I only have the Mariners that I'm blacked out from. But there are people who live in the Midwest and, and Iowa and all that stuff who are in between teams. And they couldn't watch multiple teams because of where they lived. Even though they were a fan of only one of the teams, they, could, they couldn't watch any of them. And so that's the thing that, that drives me nuts is that Major League Baseball is, is hampering their ability to grow the game, to to just make it accessible to the fan. And the more that the game becomes unaccessible by the fan, the more that younger generation will go to other sports. They will go do basketball. They'll go do football. They'll go do hockey, soccer, track. They'll go do other things. And baseball will become a lesser sport in this country. It's, it's mainly because... Major League Baseball is hurting the game. They're hurting the game. It's just that simple. The last thing I want to talk about is just the the experience at games for Major League Baseball isn't as good as college or minor league baseball. It just isn't as good. I mean, like I said earlier, there's a lack of family focus. There's a lack of things for the family to do. Um, you know, ticket prices are high. Concession prices, I, I don't worry about concession prices. You don't have to eat at games. And honestly, most of the stadiums I go to, the concession prices aren't horrible compared to other places, other event type settings. So I don't really bother that. But, you know, tickets, $125, $100 to go to the cheap seats at a Major League Baseball game. I can take my family once again to a college game for 20 bucks, if that. Sometimes even less than that. I can go to summer league games for cheap. A lot of those teams have free nights for kids to come in. So I just had to buy a ticket for, for my wife and I, and that's it. Um, so the overall experience of a Major League Baseball game, I just don't think it's worth the value. I don't think it's worth the cost. And, you know, when you put all these things together, it makes me just realize that as much as I love baseball, and I love minor league baseball, I love college baseball, I love high school baseball, but Major League Baseball, I'm not passionate about. I'll still watch it. I'll still report on it and talk about topics that are Major League Baseball related, but I'm going to do it more from the idea of a reporter and less from that of a fan. And that's disappointing for me because I want to be a fan. I want to talk like a fan to other fans of Major League Baseball. And, you know, I can't do that. I got to do more of just the factual reporting and then be done with it because I, I, don't, I don't think I can call myself truly a fan of Major League Baseball anymore. So guys, those are my thoughts. You know, I don't know if other people feel that way. I, I know there's some people who feel that way. Uh, maybe a lot of people who don't. Maybe everybody disagrees with me. But those are my thoughts. And it's rough for me, once again, as the 90 you know it all, someone who loves baseball to sit and say, I'm a fan of baseball, but just not necessarily this type of baseball. And it's not really the play on the field. The play on the field is great. I don't mind the, you know, 
tossing the bat flips. I don't mind that type of stuff. I actually kind of like it. It's fun. It makes the game more exciting. And I hope they kind of keep it going to some extent. I think there is a little bit too far. Um, but I like that stuff. It's exciting. It's fun. And, you know, in the end, right now, I'm just not a fan of Major League Baseball. So, guys, those are my thoughts. I know it's kind of a downer topic. I did warn you guys, you know, when the year started that this year was going to be different. I was going to have some topics that weren't as positive um, because I feel like I need to talk about these things. Maybe this will help me grow my fan feelings back for the game. But right now, unless Major League Baseball changes, that's where I'm at. So, guys, I'm Josh. Now you know it all. Have a great day, and I will talk to you later.